where the hell do you start with a match reaction to that? United winning 3-2 away at Brighton. And my overriding emotion is, Christ, that is a relief. United were lucky. But what the hell happened at the end of the game there? Brighton equalising, going down the other end. It was a penalty. Mope had his hand up. And Bruno Fernandes, you sexy bastard. 3-2 United, first win of the season. But utter, utter relief is my main emotion coming out of that game, coming out of that last 10 minutes. That was mental. United at least have the first three points of the season. That is the biggest positive we can take from that game. But we were lucky. Brighton hit the post, not once, twice, three times, four times, five times they hit the post. Aaron Wan-Bissaka decided not to be a right back at any point in this game, really, because Trossard was just having all the space in the world down there. And luckily for United, his finishing was off, otherwise it would have been a cricket score. Brighton would have pumped us. But they didn't. I can't even remember what happened in the game. 1-0, Brighton went up. Decent penalty from Mope. It was definitely a penalty that Fernandez gave away. We replied straight away. A great cross from Fernandez. He was involved in everything today, really, when you think about it. Nice pass back across the box by Matic, who was probably United's man of the match, I would say. It was given as an own goal, but Maguire made the difference there. Then the start of the second half. In the first half, we had a disallowed goal for Greenwood. The start of the second half, it was a Connolly dive for a penalty that got overturned. And then Rashford went and scored an absolute wonder solo goal after what I thought was very sloppy attacking play to be offside for that goal that was disallowed, but he made up for it straight away. And then United, Solskjaer, look, the, I don't agree with the subs in that game at all. Van der Beek coming on in like the 90, 88th minute. By coming on now, Bay did make a difference. He got two or three key blocks in, but United went defensive, went into their shape in the 80th minute. Instead of going out and trying to get that third goal, it still goes to show where Solskjaer's confidence in this team is, and it's certainly clearly not going forward. And then Brighton got a, got their equaliser. Crap defending by United, and you could say that all game, really, and we deserved to be punished for that. But then we went down the other end, got our first corner of the game, Maguire running into Chris Kavanagh's face saying that was a handball and VAR agreed. I've got, you got a, that was a penalty. As much as Connolly's was a dive and wasn't a penalty, as much as uh, Lamptey's was a penalty in the first half, that was a penalty. And Bruno made no mistake. Jesus, nearly three minutes I've been talking just about what's actually happened in the game. That was a hell of a game. Hell of a finish to a game. But the main takeaway from that match is United needs so much more for this to be an improvement. Look, football has this magical ability every year to keep you all excited, to keep you, look, it's a new look United team. It's, we've got a couple of new players in. We can build on the successes of last year. No, the start of this season has been a massive frustration for United fans. And I tell you what, the players must be frustrated. Solskjaer must be frustrated. They must be frustrated as each other. Pobble was poor. Clearly the preseason hasn't helped us. Martial was poor. United need to be a hell of a lot better than that. If we've got any chance of really building on last season, and we need new signings, we had absolutely no attacking threat down the right-hand side today. Wan-Bissaka, not only was he crap as right-back, he didn't go forward. Luke Shaw, on the other hand, probably one of the best attacking displays I've seen from him in a while at fullback, actually taking defenders on and making dangerous runs. So fair play to Shaw, but we need Sancho. We need, I would argue, a centre-back. And we need to see Bailly start with Maguire in the next game. I don't care what anybody else says. Maguire and Bailly is the best partnership that we've got at this club at the moment. And Solskjaer was big in Bailly up all week and then started Lindelof. Uh, that didn't really make any sense to me. And Van der Beek coming on in the 88th minute, it didn't make any sense to me. I want to see better subs from Solskjaer. I want to see a better overall performance from United because to come away from that stadium there with three points today is a huge slice of luck. And relief has to be the main emotion that United will take away from that game. They're not going to be going in the dressing room giving high fives to each other and popping bottles of champagne because it wasn't champagne football in any way, shape or form. It was lemonade football. It was budget Powland football for a lot of the game. But we came away from it with three points. 
And, you know, they say the sign of champions is to win when you're playing crap. Well, that, that wasn't a sign of anything to do with the champions team or a team capable of doing anything in the Champions League this year. United need to improve. Our pre-season is happening in the first couple of games. So I suppose in that sense, it's absolutely great that we came away with three points today there. Brighton will feel massively hard done by, and I think they should because they deserve the win today. But United got the win. Great goal from Rashford. Great equaliser from United. The good response. But why did it have to be a response? You know, to be proactive and turn that possession that we have at the start of games into an actual attacking threat. Look, I'm not too pissed off. You can't be too pissed off because we've got three points. But don't let the three points hide the problems that we have there. We were lucky. The defence was poor in shape. The midfield was non-existent, really, for the majority of the game. Rashford, he had a fantastic goal, but he needs to be better. So does Martial. Greenwood, too. Everybody needs to improve across the whole pitch. United need to be better than that. Because that is the only time we're going to play like that, I think, this season and come away with three points. That's my match review. Let me know what you think about that in the comments below. As I said, my man of the match, probably, probably Nemanja Matic. I think without him there, Brighton would have ran all over us. And they did, but it would have been worse without Matic there. So fair play to him. And he goes to show his importance in a midfield, which is stacked with quality on paper. That needs to improve all over the pitch. I think Solskjaer and United should count themselves lucky today with those three points away at Brighton.